Hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will study Dengue Fever. Topic that we will cover today in this video are Causes of Dengue Fever Warning Signs in Dengue Fever and Treatment It is a viral fever caused due to dengue virus which is transmitted by a mosquito named AIDS. This mosquito has a white black stripes on its body. Fever generally appears after 7 to 10 days of incubation. Signs observed in dengue fever are in four stages. Dengue without warning signs. Dengue with warning signs. Severe hemorrhagic fever. Dengue shock syndrome. Person having low immunity can suffer through all these phases. Patient with high immunity can be treated within a week in the first stage of warning signs if diagnosed properly. Dengue without warning signs. Patient suffers from high-grade fever. Severe headache. Severe body pain like a bone broken. Rashes all over the body. If a hand is placed on body, that area starts blemishing. Severe muscle pain. Capillary fragility test is positive. Now moving on to the Dengue with warning signs. Majority of patients get well after getting proper treatment. But in few patients, as soon as their fever subsides, they redevelop warning signs. It is said to be the critical period. Doctor is supposed to tell his patient to report back immediately after his fever subsides and he develops symptoms like pain in abdomen. Critical period is seen after a week after fever subsides. It is mostly seen in patient who previously suffered with dengue fever, children below one year, patient with low immunity, Warning signs can be seen like vomiting, pleural effusion or ascites, pain in abdomen, decrease in hematocrit level, epistaxis, atechia. Moving to the third warning sign that is, severe dengue fever. This occurs in the patients who is already suffering from dengue fever and he once again gets infected by the AIDS vector mosquito again. Such patient suffers from this stage. Signs of severe dengue fever are Early hypothermia but later hypothermia Severe hemorrhagic fever with petechia Thrombocytopenia Fall in hematocrit level Last warning sign is Dengue shock syndrome Blood pressure falls rapidly Vital stats falls Severe hypertension along with severe hemorrhage is seen now let's see how to diagnose dengue fever by lab investigation. At first, ELISA test. Then, to detect IgM. NAT test. To detect viral RNA. NS1 antigen test. This test should only be done in the initial stage of dengue fever. Moving to treatment of dengue fever. Points that doctor should do and should not do are. Doctor should. Try to recognize the critical stage. Ask patient to report back to hospital if his fever relapse and he feels any complication. Doctor should monitor fluid intake, vitals of patient properly. Investigate hematocrit level at regular interval. Use colloids if necessary, such as albumin. Doctor should give blood transfusion in the form of whole blood or RBCs in severe hemorrhage cases. Now moving to what the doctor should not do is doctor should not use steroids in the treatment of patient doctor should avoid four fluids if patient is able to get treated on oral medication if the patient needs blood transfusion then doctor should not give it in the form of plain platelets last we will discuss about treatment of dengue according to their warning signs treatment in dengue without warning signs symptomatic treatment should be follow such as for fever and body pain, use paracetamol. For cold, antihistamine. To control dehydration, use of ORS powder or fresh fruit juices. Drugs like aspirin or ibuprofen must be avoided. Try to avoid IV fluids, especially half NS. Treatment in dengue with warning signs. Patient should be added to IPD. Lab investigations must be done to check platelets level, HCT level monitor vitals of the patient if patient is unable to get treated on oral medications then iv fluids must be administered such as rl or ns 
Dose of these fluids should be given in decreasing manner to avoid fluid overload. Like in first few hours dose like 250 milliliters per hour should be given then later dose should be reduced to 150 milliliters per hour. Urine output of the patient should be observed to check for any dehydration. Time to time monitoring should be done. Symptomatic treatment should be followed. In severe hemorrhagic fever, critical care of the patient must be done. Monitoring of vitals must be done every hour. Fluid intake and urine output of the patient must be observed. IV fluids like NS or RL should be administered in the decreasing manner. Regular check for hematocrit level must be done. Levels of HCT will decrease if patient is bleeding. So in such condition blood transfusion must be done. Whole blood, 10 to 20 milliliters per kg or packed red blood cells, 5 to 10 milliliters per kg should be given. If HCT level is increasing, then fluids like NS or RL, 10 to 20 milliliters per kg should be given in decreasing manner. Treatment in Dengue Shock Syndrome Hypotensive shock is seen. To treat such condition, IV fluids like crystalloids or colloids should be administered. If improvement is seen, then continue with the same treatment. But if there is no improvement, then check for HCT level. If HCT level is decreasing then go for blood transfusion like RBCs or whole blood. If the level of HCT is increasing, then fluids like colloids should be given. Few important precautions to be taken to prevent dengue are Use of mosquito repellent like mosquito nets. Empty the standing water in buckets or barrels in the surroundings. Close the windows and doors of the house at night. Try to boost the immunity by eating fresh green vegetables. Have adequate sleep. Maintain hygiene. Sanitize the surrounding areas. Morning fresh exercise. Avoid smoking and drinking. Hope you guys like this video. I request you to press the like button and please subscribe to my channel.